Hey there, this is Stan, K9SWX, and today I want to talk about filtering out some FM broadcast signals getting into other parts of the bands. So on my screen here, I have my uh, SDR running. It's actually running on a Raspberry Pi, and I've got um, a lot of interference, actually. I'm Right now I'm on the aviation band, uh, about 122 to 124 megahertz. And you can see a lot of these these thicker lines are from uh, my Ubiquity um, power over Ethernet set, setup. So if I unplug that, those will go away. But there's there's a lot of other interference. And underneath that, where I've got my um, cursor here, um, there's an FM station bleeding through. If I turn the sound on here. It's kind of weak right now. It gets over the course of the day, it'll get stronger and weaker, um, but it's it's kind of annoying. And the problem is, I live within one mile of a fifty thousand watt FM broadcast station. So if I go up here, there it is. Uh, it's this WLRW station, and there it's actually an HD station, but that doesn't really matter in this case. It's just the the power and how close I am to the station. So what I want to do today is try something called an FM bandpass filter, um, which should block out all the whole broadcast band and hopefully filter that out from the aviation band. So let's let's give that a shot here. All right, so here we have the bandpass filter. Um, this is one I picked up on Amazon. It's called the Flamingo. FM version 2, they actually call it a notch filter because that's basically what it does is it notches out the um, entire FM broadcast band. But basically you hook up your uh, antenna to this side where it says input and then this side goes to your SDR and it also comes with this little adapter so you can put this on the output and then put it on your SDR. So we're going to try uh, try this and see if it works. Okay, so now I have the filter in line, and we're going to turn the audio up. I don't hear it. I mean, obviously, I still have a lot of interference, so that's that's not going to solve all my problems. But I don't hear the FM underneath all this other stuff. So just to prove that it works, I'm going to switch back over to that 50,000 watt station and I'll even bump up the levels here. There's nothing. It's not there. You know, it's gone, as, as is all the other uh, stations around me. So <laughs> uh, I would say it works. Um, it definitely got rid of my FM on the aviation band. Um, and one other one other thing to note here, I am on this specific one is just a regular RTL SDR dongle. It's like a thirty or forty dollar dongle you can pick up, um, so it doesn't have the greatest filtering built in. Uh, but just for reference, I'll switch over to my AirSpy HF Plus Discovery, which does have filtering built in, and we will see. what it looks like on that part of the band. And I, it, I still have some interference, some stuff here, but it's not FM broadcast. But as you can see, the AirSpy for reference is, filters out a lot more of that. All right, so you can get this over on Amazon. And it does come with the adapter to hook up to any SMA SDR like the RTL SDR, AirSpy, or whatever else you've got there. Um, it covers 88 through 180 or 88 through 108 megahertz. Uh, that's what it blocks out. And I will put a link to this in the description below. So if you do click on it, it is an affiliate link, which will uh, give me a small commission, which helps out the channel. And I appreciate that. So what did you think of the Flamingo bandstop filter? Do you think it worked pretty well? I 
for me, I think it worked worked really well. I mean, it blocked out what I needed it to block out. So um, for $22, it's uh, pretty good. Uh, let me know your thoughts, or if you have any questions, put those in the comments below about this or any other ham-related question you might have. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and make sure to ding my bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks again, and 73 from K9SWX.